Hello, and thank you all for joining us today, and welcome to the Call for Proposals information session for the Texas Conference on Digital Libraries. My name is Christina Kellum. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm the Digitization Lab Manager with UNT Libraries, and I'm so glad you joined us today. Next slide. Almost. The gremlins have returned. Thank you, Gabby. Thank you, Sylvia. Uh, as we gather in the shared virtual space, we will be start by acknowledging the physical places from which we join all located on the indigenous uh, lands of Turtle Island, the ancestral name for what now is called North America. We all join from our own specific places in Texas and elsewhere. I joined from Denton, Texas, and TDL is headquartered in Austin, where the Tonkawa were among the traditional stewards of the land before they were forcibly removed. I invite you to share your own land acknowledgments in the chat, and we will also share a link. So if you would like to visit the land digital to learn more about the colonization lands of indigenous people in your area. Next slide. I want to thank Texas Digital Library for hosting this event and for everyone who is helping us with chat, notes, and more. During today's presentation, we'll share the conference code of conduct, talk about the event space and technology, share our plans for supporting speakers and moderators, discuss the different presentation types we hope to see, and walk through the submission and proposal review process. We will share a link to the community notes document in chat where you can take notes and share resources. Now, Leah, it's gonna be on to you. Next slide, please. Thanks, Christina. I'm Leah DeForest. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm the communications manager and open educational resources support person with Texas Digital Library. So we have a little housekeeping. Um, some of you who might be Gen X or might be really into the 80s and 90s culture, we at TDL are really big fans of Bill and Ted. Uh, because they are uh, clearly most triumphant and especially because they believe in being excellent to each other. And uh, we at TDL ask that you also be excellent to each other and hope that you'll cultivate an experience for everyone here that is free from all forms of harassment and is inclusive of all people. So we ask that everyone here today be considerate and respectful in speech and action. We attempt collaboration before conflict. We refrain from demeaning, discriminatory, or harassing behavior and speech, and please be mindful of your environment and your fellow participants. So um, part of that means keeping your microphones muted if you aren't speaking. Uh, you are welcome to unmute your video, or you can keep it off if you're having a not ready for video kind of day. We hope you'll use chat box to say hello and let others know that you're here. You can make comments and share resources throughout the presentations. We'll be sharing resources there. Chat is also where we'll share out links um, related to some of the information that we're gonna share. And thank you, Cynthia, for helping with that. If you have a question, feel free to type it in chat. Um, again, Cynthia is our chat manager for today. Uh, she's gonna help us when it comes time for Q&A. Uh, live captioning has been enabled and you can view live captioning by clicking on that closed caption button on your Zoom toolbar. This part of the meeting is being recorded, the presentation, but we're gonna stop recording before we move into the Q&A portion of the meeting so as to encourage and facilitate candid conversation. We're gonna publish the slides and recordings and share them with all of you in attendance today and everyone who registered in case they couldn't be here. Next slide, please, Cynthia. So finally, before we start our presentation today, Texas Digital Library is grateful for our members, many of whom are here today and who are on this planning committee and planning this conference. TDL members put your trust in TDL to provide essential library infrastructure and services like digital preservation, digital repository hosting, tools for managing ETDs and research data, support for open educational resources, metadata aggregation for the Digital Public Library of America, and building a community of trusted colleagues like you who share knowledge and moral support every day. 
So we invite any institution interested in becoming a member of our consortium to reach out to us. We need you and your energy and expertise to continue growing the library community in this region and invite you to connect with our amazing, fun, and brilliant community of librarians and archivists. So welcome to all. And now back to you, Christina. Uh, next slide, please. Thanks, Leah. So now about TCDL. So since 2007, the Texas Conference on Digital Libraries has provided a home for communities of libraries, archives, and information workers who support scholarly output, cultural heritage, open access, open source, open science, and transparency in libraries through digital preservation, repositories, metadata, and dissertations, scholarly communications, open education, and research data management, which is a lot. As, a found, as founder and host of TCDL, Texas Digital Libraries is committed to dismantling white supremacy within our organization and associated communities and helping transform practice and culture in the larger higher education and culture heritage communities in which we operate. All of us in the TDL community enthusiastically invite and encourage members of minority, minoritized communities to attend, present, and enjoy TCDL regardless of your profession, affiliation, or background. We welcome proposals from Texas-based colleges and beyond and hope today's presentation is helpful to you. We will share a link to our code of conduct in the chat and invite everyone to read it as we ask that everyone who proposes a presentation for the conference agrees to adhere to it. In the interest of time, I won't read it here, but just know that in spirit, the TCDL Code of Conduct is a lot like the community agreement that Leah presented earlier. So if you want, take a look and contact us if you have any questions or suggestions about it. Move on to the next slide. Oh. Um, our conference planning committee has developed a schedule for the conference that prioritizes reconnecting with one another in person. To that end, we've decided to move our opening plenary and keynote presentations to the afternoon of day one in order to leave time in the morning for registration table reunions and catching up over birds of a feather meetings. Day two and three, Wednesday and Thursday, will look a lot like usual conference days with programming in the morning and afternoon and time set aside for lunch and breaks. We will be feeding you as part of your registration. I also want to point out that member and user groups of TDL have time and space set aside. If you are part of a TDL group, you may have heard this information already, but if not, reach out to info at tdl.org to find out how to coordinate your meeting during the conference. Now I'll hand over to the chair of our speaker support subcommittee, Heidi. Next slide, please. Thank you so much, Christina, and good morning. My name is Heidi Winkler. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm the digital services librarian at Texas Tech University. And as uh, Christina said, the chair of the TCDL speaker support subcommittee. We are so excited to invite everyone to join us in person after so long in the virtual space. But that being said, we also acknowledge that being in person conjures different sets of challenges and anxieties. So that's where my committee um, and the help of all of the planning committee comes in. The conference venue um, is the same that we've used at previous TD TCDLs and is located in North Central Austin on a satellite campus of UT. Our room blocks will be in hotels nearby. Some of you may be familiar with the space. There are two auditorium spaces, one large, one small. We'll utilize the large auditorium for our opening plenary and poster minute madness and the smaller auditorium for lightning talks and other sessions. We will offer numerous classrooms for concurrent sessions. Each classroom has audio visual technology and will be equipped with extra microphones. Whiteboards are available for your use in these spaces too. Just bring your own dry erase markers. And we're gonna try a couple new ideas for the conference this year. We will provide space for networking and impromptu meetings. Uh, this will be a separate classroom that folks can just step into to chat and co-work and catch up. Um, we'll not manage the usage of this room, but rather expect users to self-regulate and be respectful. We will also provide a quiet space for folks who need to recharge. For those of you who may feel anxious around crowds or need time to get away, this space will be a no talking zone. We'll dim the lights and keep a few lightweight activities on hand if you want to unwind. Uh, so think uh, coloring books, light the networking room. We will not be managing the space. Um, and um, we just expect you to adhere to the rules of the room, um, which we will clearly post on the whiteboard. 
Next slide, please. So uh, this slide shows you two things. On the left is a map of the space, which you'll see as part of your moderator and speaker support packets with your session location clearly marked. Um, on the right is an overview of the support you can expect from us before, during, and after the conference. We have a dedicated group of people who are here to focus on the needs of the speakers so that everyone can feel prepared and ready to be at their best for uh, their session. We will make sure to have all of the information you need uh, about your session, including location and contact info for your moderator. Moderators will be trained on the technology um, in your session so that they can show you how to use it and be there in case of a problem. You know, as with any element of the conference experience, we invite you to let us know if there's anything that we can do to make your presentation accessible uh, for you and your audience. And we'll actually, once we stop recording and go into our discussion session, we'll be working more on that. Uh, so once the program is set, I and others from the TCDL support, speaker support committee will get in touch with you. Uh, one more thing I wanted to talk to you about is the TCL theme. So now that we've discussed some of the support that you can expect from us, we're going to switch gears now and talk about the conference theme and the call for proposals specifically. The conference committee has identified a long list of topic ideas for your proposals. What you see here is abbreviated from what is listed on the CFP page on TDL's website. Um, Sorry that I forgot to say next slide, please. Um, so if you are not familiar uh, with Austin, um, the Hi, How Are You theme um, comes from a mural that is across the street from the UT campus um, and is one that welcomes everyone um, into that academic environment. Um, and it's you know a question that we really want to hear from you right now. Um, as with every TCDL, we're so excited to hear about um, your your work that you've been doing um, in digital libraries, in open and scholarly communication, and, and everything that we cover. Um, but we also want to hear about how the past three or four years have been for you, um, and what is challenging for you right now. What is it that makes your work possible, and how does it need to be better acknowledged? So uh, we look forward to hearing from you. We challenge you to, to really think hard about that and talk to us about it. And uh, we look forward to a really exciting conference. So now I'm going to hand it over to my colleague, Cynthia, to tell you more about the different session types. Next slide, please. Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Cynthia Henry, and I use she, her, hers uh, pronouns. Um, I'm the librarian for the human, human sciences at Texas Tech. Um, I'm going over some of our session types um, before I turn it back over to Christina. And we have a number of different kinds of session types to accommodate both the needs of your presentations and the conference schedule. Some of the presentation types are tried and true, and some are new. And so that's why we just really wanted to break them out for you. We really hope that you find a comfortable fit for your proposal, and we'll do our best to accommodate the presentation types that uh, you've requested. So um, your presentations may be on topics listed on our CFP page. Um, and that Heidi shared previously, and you're welcome to present something outside of that list. Um, I'll talk about the logistics planning for each session type. So we have two slides here that will have um, some of our tried and true, and then Christina will talk about the kind of newer ones. So our first type here is presentations. Those are usually about 15, 20 minutes long with 10 minutes uh, for Q&A. Um, they're live in-person presentations, um, like we're we're all back together now, so uh, no Zooming anymore. And uh, the sessions are usually paired um, by topic or theme for two or three presentations in an hour long session. Then our lightning talks, that's kind of like what you would see from the Pecha Kucha style. So that gives you six and a half minutes and you have 20 so slides with 20 seconds on each slide. And I really encourage you to set a timer on the slide and just let them roll forward. And they should be very image forward and you would just be talking in that 20 seconds. Um, and those are grouped together by topic and theme. Um, for each session and are approximately 50 minutes. So there'll be quite a few of y'all um, in that one session. 
And then the panels. Um, so here we have a little bit of a note. Um, we try to balance the number of panels at the conference with the number of presentation types. Since panels take a little bit longer, um, so when we review proposals, we look really closely at um, panels to make sure that they are the best fit for the schedule and the other session types proposed. And these are about approximately 45 to 50 minutes, and then uh, they're in a session of uh, 60 minutes, so you just have a little bit of Q&A at the end uh, after the discussion in the middle, if you want. And then um, our next slide, please. So um, we uh, have a few others here. We'll talk about demonstrations, and this is really like a how-to. Um, it's instruction on areas of digital library practice or other useful tools and technologies. Um, and um, it takes um, about one to four uh, hours. So this is a large workshop where you will be going step by step with the uh, attendees. Um, and um, these are really cool to learn some you know, basics on a topic. So that is good. Um, then our next one is birds of a feather, and it's like a roundtable discussion. And um, I've really been involved with GIS, and I think the birds of a feather um, really kind of brought people together. So like-minded people get together, and you kind of talk about what you really want to explore in that topic. It's about 45 to 50 minutes, and it's um, less formal than a panel discussion. So if you're not sure what the difference is there, you really have a panel discussion talking about the types. And then the birds of a feather, it's just everybody is kind of talking um, and, and included in that conversation. And then our last one that I'm going to cover is posters. Um, and those are one minute elevator talk of your poster. So it's very quick. Um, and the posters are, will be printed for the e exhibition. Um, and you will have a one minute time pitch for the um, poster minute madness session. Um, and so the poster will be displayed from the evening reception throughout the afternoon of day three. So that's what you would need to know about the posters. OK, Christina is on um, to you with our rest of our presentation types. Thank you, Cynthia. So for the new session types, the first one is the idea lab. It's about pre the idea lab is about presenting a particular problem, issue, or idea that is either in the beginning stages or maybe in a stage of stagnation. Sometimes we are asked to solve something in our work, and sometimes getting the motor started is the hardest part. Maybe you could use feedback from others that are in similar positions but work at different institutions than you, or you're seeking ways to encourage collaboration across departments but don't know how to approach them. The Idea Lab is really a space to kind of engage in dynamic and inspiring conversations that can really help an idea take off. And that's really what we would like to inspire with this type of session. Really kind of get yourself saying, I'm just starting this one idea, or I've been working on it, but I'm, I'm at a standstill and I could use some help. This will really allow yourself to get a collective group of people who are experienced can offer you advice. And then our next one is the show and fail session, which really comes from the notion that not all of our projects work out despite our best efforts. And we would like to celebrate your risk taking and your experimentation, because that is honestly when we learn the most. And we still want to be able to celebrate the work that you've done throughout the year or all of the hard work that you put into maybe research on your job. So we would like for you to like share a project or an initiative that you or your team started that you spent hours upon hours working on and that ultimately didn't turn out the way you wanted to. We want to share what worked, what were the results and what your team took away from the experience. The audience will be given the opportunity to share input from similar experiences or offer advice for your project that could help take it forward if that is your goal. So it's important to know that we'll be mindful of submissions and space and time constraints for these sessions. So there is a possibility that both of these different session types could be put together and combined during the conference. Each individual presentation will be 20 minutes long, 10 minutes for your pre presentation, and 10 minutes for discussion. So we'll break them out into an hour length long um, session in the conference to help give you an understanding of we just really want to share those ideas and I really love it when I can share if I failed at something. <laughs> I never feel alone so uh, next slide please. So to move forward we're going to talk about how to 
put your proposals into action and submit them. So we submit proposals using Google Forms. We have also created a Google Doc that you can use to prepare your proposal should you need to. Sometimes getting on the form can be a little intimidating, so we like to offer you that Google Doc that you can save and work on privately. Next slide. Our review process will is outlined here, but on February 27th, proposals are due at 9 a.m. And March 7th, the committee will begin reviewing these applicant applications of the proposals with our reviews due mid-March. On March 25th, we will set a tentative program based on the selected proposals from the committee. And around March 27th is when we will send notifications to presenters to say whether or not yes or no. Next slide. So as always, we're happy to answer any questions you might have. In the chat, there will be a link to the call for proposals on the TCDL webpage, a proposal template uh, to aid in your planning, the collaboration station, which we can talk about a little bit later, but essentially it's where you can put your idea down and see if others want to also help present with you on that and have a co-host. And then also the call for proposals form when you're ready to submit. Again, the deadline for proposals is set for Monday, February 27th at 9 a.m. Next slide. So I wanna thank everybody again who presented today to help make our slides move forward uh, for everybody working in chat and of course working on the notes document. Um, we're gonna go ahead and stop recording now and move into Q&A. Everyone is welcome to unmute your video and show your faces if you're comfortable doing so. If you've been watching the webinar in speaker view so far, you might enjoy it in gallery view. You can click the speaker view to switch uh, in the upper right corner in the Zoom app. So go ahead and stop recording.